That's right, Rob. The dealership named in this complaint is the same one which just two years ago paid out $10 million to settle a lawsuit brought against it by the FTC and the Illinois Attorney General's office, which at the time claimed the dealer charged its black customers higher fees than their white customers. Andre Jennings is living in a homeless shelter with his five-year-old daughter and his fiance. It is not where this former auto dealership worker expected to find himself after being fired from his job as a salesperson at Ed Napleton's Elmhurst Imports Kia dealer back in April of 2022. He is now suing the dealership for racial discrimination. It's been crazy. I lost my, I, I lost my house. I um, lost my car. Everything. The lawsuit, filed back in September of last year, alleges that Jennings, who worked at the dealership for around three and a half years, was routinely subjected to racial slurs by his supervisor and that he was paid less than his white colleagues. You would tell me straight up, you know, take this deal back to uh, finance. And this would happen quite often. Jennings' attorney is calling on the dealership to, among other things, make their former employee whole by paying out the back pay he has lost since losing his job. We had several employees, um, past and current employees, who are deemed Afri who are identified as African Americans, who now want to either join this lawsuit or start their own. And because this particular dealership has previously been the subject of a racial discrimination lawsuit filed against it by the Illinois Attorney General's office, during which it was forced to pay out $10 million to settle, Hall Jackson believes the company should be forced to pay punitive damages as well. The difference between the last lawsuit and this lawsuit is the fact that those were customers and now we're talking about employees. Now, we have reached out to the attorneys for Ed Napleton for a response, but as of now, we have not received one. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.